Candida auris is a emerging species of Candida that we're quite concerned about. It's a typical yeast, but it's acting like a bacteria. And so it has qualities that we don't typically see in organisms that cause disease by Candida species. The main one being Candidemia, which is the invasive form or the bloodstream form of Candidiasis. This organism, this specific species, is acting quite differently when it's causing invasive infections. We first heard and saw reports about Candida auris in 2009. It was actually reported in Japan in the external ear canal of a patient. That's why it gets the name auris, because auris is the Latin for ear. Subsequently, now we've seen it being reported across the globe, and it's in over 20 countries. It's on four or five different continents now, and it really has emerged over these last seven or eight years. And that's not typical for a candida type species, especially to emerge almost simultaneously across four continents. So when we first heard about its emergence in 2009, we started to communicate with other colleagues who were seeing patients globally. And finally, we we're talking to colleagues in Pakistan who were witnessing an outbreak in a hospital that they thought was due to one kind of fungus. And it turns out when we received the fungal isolates at CDC, we were able to identify it actually as this Candida auris. And what's the problem with Candida auris? Well, number one, Candida auris is challenging to identify. That hospital in Pakistan did not identify it correctly. So the typical biochemical ways of identifying fungal species don't work with this particular species. You need to sequence it or use higher tech equipment. Malditoff is the name of the equipment that we use. Secondly, it, it is resistant to the classes of antifungal drugs that we use. We have three classes of antifungal drugs. We often see Candida auris resistant to at least one, many times two, and even in rare cases we've seen all three classes of resistance um, in these organisms, which makes them essentially untreatable. And we're, we call it, therefore, the fungal superbug right now because we're concerned that the triple resistance will be untreatable. And then third and most challenging is that it's not acting like a candidate. As I mentioned earlier, it's acting more like a bacteria in the fact that it's transmitted person to person. It's transmitted within healthcare settings. And most candida infections that we have actually come from our own intestinal tract and it's sort of like an auto infection. We generally bring the organisms in to, with, with ourselves to hospitals where we then infect ourselves because we're exposed to the healthcare environment, uh, antibiotics, equipment, etc. With this particular species, it doesn't need that. It seems to be colonizing our skin and is actually transmitted like a bacteria, like bacteria that we deal with in hospitals from person to person and in healthcare settings.